Hello and welcome to the Terry White Tech Blog. My name is Terry White and I'm here to answer a question that I've had and I'm sure many of you have had as well. And that is, once and for all, which is faster? USB 3 or Firewire 800? And the reason this question has really come up now for me is that I just got a brand new MacBook Pro Retina display. And of course it has Thunderbolt, no Firewire, and USB 3. Although I do have the Firewire to Thunderbolt adapter, which runs at Firewire speeds, I was really curious to see, well, do I continue with Firewire drives or do I start using USB 3 drives now that USB 3 is built in? So the question that I asked and I went around looking on the web and I couldn't find really any current speed tests, any current data, especially with the new machines. So here I am doing my own. So with that, let's take a look at what I'm going to do today. I have um, in my possession a drive that is both USB 3 and FireWire 800 on the same drive. That way, it's as fair as it can be. We're using the same drive for both tests. And um, I'm using the new MacBook Pro Retina display. So it's got uh, USB 3 built in. I've got a Thunderbolt to FireWire adapter and the supplied uh, FireWire 800 cable that came with the drive, as well as the USB 3 cable that came with the drive. So we're running, uh, we're going to run our speed test right in front of you so you can see the difference. Let's start with FireWire 800. So we'll plug in the FireWire 800 cable into the drive. And we'll wait for, of course, the drive to power up. Of course, it's bus powered and it will then mount the volumes on the desktop. Now, the uh, application I'm running here is Blackmagic Designs Disk Speed Test. I'm going to select the target drive. We're going to use one of the volumes basically off the um, external that I just plugged in. I partitioned it into three volumes. And uh, it has no data on it. So the drive is brand new out of the box today. No data, just all I did was plug it in and repartition it using disk utility. And uh, disk speed test is really designed to test the drive to see how fast it would be for doing various types of video capture. So um, we don't really need to wait for it to finish all the tests because if it's not fast enough to go on the 720p or the next test or the next test, there's really no reason to wait. It'll just keep giving us the same numbers. But let's, let's start. So when we click start, it'll do a write test first and then a read test. Okay, and I've done this test already, so I kind of know where the numbers are going to be. Um, looks like we're around 72 for the write and maybe 66 for the read, thereabouts. And again, it's just going to keep doing the same test because uh, now it said, okay, this drives fast enough for PAL and NTSC. Now it's testing it for 720p and 720p 59.94 and then 1080p, so forth and so on. So in other words, if it doesn't pass one of these, it's most likely never going to pass one of these either. So there's no reason to keep waiting for it to, um, for it to keep going. So we see our numbers, basically 77.2 and 66 thereabouts. All right, so uh, we'll just let that one go and we'll stop it here. So you kind of got the numbers, 77 versus 66, they're about for the FireWire 800 test. All right, so now I'm just going to go ahead and unmount the drives. And let's uh, eject. There we go. And um, I will disconnect the FireWire 800 cable and plug in the USB 3 cable. Okay, so now the drive is being connected via USB 3, which is also bus powered. It came with a nice cable that you could split off if you didn't have enough power on your USB port. You could actually plug in a second USB for power. But the USB port on the MacBook Pro is enough to power the drive without needing that second connection. All right, so it should use the same volume, but I'm just going to make sure. We'll just do a quick select target drive. We'll use the exact same volume because it is the exact same drive. And now, here, here we are once and for all, which is faster, USB 3 or FireWire 800? So now we're connected via USB 3, go. And right out of the gate, USB 3 is faster on the right, and it is also faster on the read. So it looks like we're around 108 on the right, 110 on the read, 
And again, it'll just keep going to see which ones are faster for, or which whether or not it'll be fast enough for all these other tests. And of course it won't be. So we'll just let it, uh, we could stop it at this point. But there you have it. You have uh, once and for all seen it live, same drive, same computer, same test. That way you know, it's as fair as it can be that USB 3 is in fact faster than Firewire 800 running side-by-side -side comparisons. But what about real world? I do have one more thing. And that is benchmarks are great, but what's it like really using the drives to copy your own data? You know, will it be faster? Will it be that much faster? Will it be the same results or what? So in addition to the benchmarks you just saw, while we paused the video, I took a 16 gigabyte folder and copied it to the drive and timed it um, using both connections. So here, let's take a look at the results. So again, here's the 16 gigabyte folder. If we do a get info on that, so you can see that I'm telling the truth here, it's 16.37 gigabytes. And um, what I did was I just simply copied that folder onto the hard disk volume uh, via USB and via Firewire. So let's take a look at my results using my timer. So I'm just going to bring up my uh, photos here. And on the um, Firewire 800, we got a speed of, it took 3 minutes and 33 seconds to copy that 16 gigabyte folder over. So 3 minutes, 33 seconds. And now if we go to the USB results, 3 minutes, 21 seconds. So not significantly faster, maybe not even the speed difference that we saw in the benchmarks, but it is faster. So again, this is real world data, copying files, not running benchmarks, doing the kinds of things that you'll do every day. So USB 3, three, point, or three minutes, 21 seconds to copy that folder, and FireWire 800, three minutes, 33 seconds to copy that folder. So there you have it. We did it with benchmarks and we did it with a real world copy. Thanks again for watching. Uh, my name is Terry White and I hope this helps you as much as it helped me to determine what is, what is it better to go with going forward, FireWire 800 drives or USB um, 3 drives. Now keep in mind, Thunderbolt is ultimately the fastest. So if you have the ability to get a Thunderbolt drive, then yeah, go with that. But if you're comparing USB 3 to FireWire 800, USB 3 looks like it has the speed advantage, at least on the new machines. Take care.